In a win for motorists, Volkswagen and Audi have settled two major Australian class actions relating to the global diesel emissions scandal. About 100,000 car owners will share in a compensation package totalling more than $100 million. Here's Consumer Affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Richard Cantor is one of thousands of Australians sold diesel cars by Volkswagen, Audi and Skoda fitted with software designed to cheat emissions tests. Now Mr Cantor is among those entitled to compensation. I didn't think at any time that Volkswagen could walk away with, without having done anything because clearly they're in the wrong. They had their hands in the cookie jar and they got caught. Just last year, Volkswagen denied it had a case to answer here in Australia, despite having already agreed to compensate customers in North America. It's a settlement that will see a minimum of 87 million uh, for affected motorists uh, and that number going up to as much as 127.1 million, uh, depending on the uh, eventual size of the claimant group. The settlement comes without any admission of liability by Volkswagen, but it means Australians with cars powered by the EA189 engine will each be entitled to about $1,400 in compensation. We see this as a really significant victory for motorists who claim they were financially impacted by the diesel emissions issue. Perhaps the final judgment will come from drivers themselves. In the United States, Volkswagen offered to buy back cars at their previous market value, as well as offering compensation of up to $10,000 US dollars. One of the lead plaintiffs in the Australian case says she sees the result as a win. This is a, a, a decision um, that has actually delivered for Australian consumers um, economic justice through this case. It has been a long time coming. Volkswagen is still facing a separate civil case from the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News.